From Evansville, Indiana, this is Thunder on the Ohio 7. Brought to you by Ford and your local Ford dealer. And by Walker Muffler. Featuring the Advantage Muffler. It puts rust at a disadvantage. Here in the middle of America, where the Ohio River separates the states of Kentucky and Indiana, the unlimited hydroplane boats are ready to race. Hello, everybody. I'm Don Poyer. Welcome to Evansville, Indiana, for race number five on this circuit. Now, the interesting aspect of 1985 is that in the four earlier races, we've had four different winners. First came the Executone Telephones, then the Budweiser, then the Miller American, and last week in Madison, Indiana, it was this boat behind me, the 7-Eleven. Jim Hendrick is with the winning driver, Mr. Steve Reynolds. Well, Don, I guess the question would be, four winners, four races, will there be a fifth winner? What do you think, Steve Reynolds? Well, Jim, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say we're going to have our first two-time winner at this race. Nice guy. That wasn't too <laughs> dangerous a move, was it? I'm going into politics next. Yeah. What about 7-Eleven? Is she ready? Yeah, the 7-Eleven is high. She's 100%. She's you know, we put the new skid pin on. Every fine I tested it, we're 110% ready to go. And the challenge will come from last year's defending champion, and Don Poyer is with him right now. Jim, I'm with Budweiser driver Jim Cropfeld, who won here in 1984, and it was in the same boat, the grand old lady that you thought you would be replacing, of course. You drove the new boat earlier in the year. When are you going to get back in that one, and how long can this one last? Well, I hope this one gets us through this weekend. Uh, it's in good shape right now, and we're hoping to run the next one, uh, the new boat in Pasco, uh, in two weeks. How's it handling? I know it's, it's not easy getting it back into race readiness. No, it wasn't because we made changes on the engines and we don't have uh, any of our propellers that we had on this boat last year. We were using the props from the new boat and it's a completely different handling boat. Okay, Jim Cropfell of the Budweiser. Let's go to Jim Henrik now for the rundown of Heat 1A. Well, Don, all in all, seven boats have qualified for this Budweiser Thunder on the Ohio, the fifth race of 1985. We'll have seven boats, four will be in Heat 1A, and three of those have won races already this season. Here's the lineup. Jerry Hopp will drive Oh Boy Alberto. His qualifying speed this week at 107.849. Then the Miss Budweiser with Jim Cropfeld, 128.297. The 7-Eleven with Steve Reynolds, also identical speeds in qualifying, 128.297. And the fastest qualifier, it's Chip Hanauer, the Miller American, at 139.265. That's the way they line up in Heat 1A. And now, Don, how about Heat 1B? Jim, Heat 1B features two hometown boats that are from the state of Indiana. Here's the rundown for Heat 1B. First of all, qualifying at 109.2 miles per hour, Todd Yarling and the Risley's Express. Todd out of Madison, Indiana. Next, qualifying at 114.9 miles per hour is Andy Coker and American Speedy Printing, based out of Madison, Indiana. Finally, Scott Pierce, qualifying at 124.0 miles per hour in the Executone Telephones. So there's the rundown. 1A, 1B, unlimited hydroplane racing coming up from Evansville, Indiana in just a moment. <laughs> 